Week one in Seattle, we have Denver. And Troy Franklin is fast as shit. Watch this. Hit the bottom of your here. screen. Third and 13. Where the defense at? Beautiful. Oh my. Track speed. He gone. Bro, he, did you see what he did to this guy, y'all? Look at this. Look at this defender, right? When I break it down and show you how he got so open, you don't lose your shit. But look at what he does to this guy. It's so simple. He just hit him with a little. Uh, uh, uh. Beautiful. Uh, track speed. Catch me. Touchdown. Okay, let's get to the play. I love it. High low concept. Very simple. Very easy for Bo Nix to read, okay? You don't have Franklin going to dig route and his, uh, his running back go out. All right. Look at it. Franklin's down here on the boundary side. Boundary side, he's closer to the out of bounds. That's how I remember it, bro. You got the field side. They closer. They have more field to deal with. And that's that running back. Boom, right here. Running back, we got Franklin. Okay, now all we gotta do is pay attention to how the defense is defending this. All right, now because of the down and distance, it's third and 13, right? Franklin is a threat. His speed is real, y'all. Okay, and that's how USC's gonna play it. They're gonna play like dude's got some real ass speed. The defense, the defender's playing it like, hey, don't get beat over the top. And he did that. He did his assignment. He did not get beat over the top. Because if he gets beat over the top, bro, it's all day. This dude ain't gonna keep up with him. So he played off of him probably like, I think, 12 yards played off of him. How many yards you play off of him? Five. Probably like, yeah, like eight yards off of him, okay? So watch. Here we go. Watch him. Don't get beat over the top. Don't get beat over the top. Don't get beat over the top. He opened up. He was not trying to get beat over the top, bro. The man is, he's scared to death about getting beat over the top. Now, the thing about Franklin, which is why I got to give him so much credit and which is why I'm glad I did this little scouting report because, bro, when my Hawks play him, when my Hawks play y'all because he going to be out there, bro. There's a reason why the Denver Broncos drafted Bo Nix's favorite weapon in college, bro. They trying to keep that connection together. He's so smooth. You don't even know, like, look how quick he gets into his move to the inside. Like... He reminds me of, if I had to pick a receiver, bruh, and I heard actually a couple of people say this, he reminds me of, of Robbie Anderson, you know? Uh, uh, Robbie Chosen is his new name now, bruh. But back in the day when Robbie was with the Carolina Panthers, pinned like a thousand yards up, that's what his route running reminds me of, or his, his style of running reminds me of. But he's faster. Oh, goodness, bro. All right, so when we play y'all, uh, I just hope my guys understand a couple of things, bro. When, when situational is how I'm looking at it. Third and thirteen, you gotta be, you gotta pay attention to his his dig routes, his post routes, and because he has that connection with Bo Nix, which is is such a smart move by Denver, bro. Like I'm really, the more I watch this, the more I pay attention to y'all, bro. It's like people sleeping on y'all, bro. I'm not gonna be the one sleeping, and I know my coaching staff ain't gonna be the one sleeping, bro. We got to disguise our looks. You can't come out in a damn one high, show that, and stay in that. You got to you gotta show two, come down to one. You got to confuse Bo Nix, bro, because he has that connection with Troy, man, and he understands his speed. He's coming into the league knowing what he's got in this guy, bro. They're trying to do that same thing with Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase. It's a smart move, man. And I'm going to be paying attention to it because he's ha he has elite speed, bro. He really does, man. Let me know y'all thoughts in the comment section below, man. Y'all better scout my team too, bro. We ain't no slouches either. We got a new coach. We got a new OC. We got a new DC. Make sure our head coach is our DC. We got a whole new damn coaching staff, bro. It's going to be a good game, homie. It's going to be a good game. Let me know y'all thoughts in the comment section below, bro. I'll see y'all my next one. All right, I'm out. Deuces.